Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach coming to you, and uh, tonight we are on the eve of the TNA Genesis pay-per-view, and I believe everybody knows that Matt Hardy is going to be making his debut in TNA tomorrow night as the mystery opponent for Rob Van Dam. Um, basically, uh, congratulations, Matt, on being brought into TNA, but welcome to Jobville. Um, basically, I don't think you're improving your status in the wrestling world at all by joining TNA right here. I think that um, basically you're putting yourself back in the same position you were in, just in a different company. You know, you complain that WWE wasn't using you to your full potential. Well, look at it right here. I mean, the guy you're coming into is a guy that they're pushing towards a world title dream match against uh, your brother, Jeff Hardy. All you're doing is you're being used as a speed bump uh, for Rob Van Dam to get to the world title. Uh, Rob Van Dam, for some reason, hasn't been given a number one contendership to the world title, and he's working his way to it right now. Months, months ago, he was the world title uh, holder, and he was attacked by Abyss. He was stripped of the title. Uh, they brought him back weeks later, uh, before the, tur the title tournament even started, uh, that Jeff won. And for some reason, even to now, he hasn't been named a number one contender. He's been running uh, uh, ECW program against his friends, Rhinos, and, and others. And uh, he's sort of been pushed to the back, and I'm glad that they're finally bringing Rob Van Dam uh, to the uh, the title front once again, but um, I, I think that they're bringing uh, Matt in for the big pop that he's going to get pay per view. No doubt, he's going to get that. I mean, he's always been an over wrestler, but I don't think I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that he's going to be doing the job to Rob Van Dam. And I don't think there's any way in the world that Matt's ever going to reach the potential that Jeff had. I don't think that TNA will ever be able to use uh, Matt Hardy as a world champion. Just look at the roster they have. I mean. I think that the TNA has a great roster of guys that are just higher on the scale than Matt Hardy, and I don't think he's ever going to be able to surpass people uh, like uh, Kurt Angle, uh, Jeff Jarrett, and uh, even his brother Jeff Hardy. Um, they, they have they have tons of guys that could hold the strap for him, Rob Van Dam and others, and there's just no way that he's going to get there. And by making his TNA debut at the pay per view uh, being uh, being a job match, even if it's a great match, you're going to be looked at a guy just lost again. And basically, that's what you're doing in WWE. And so I have no idea why you want to take this time off, switch over to this other company, only to be doing the same thing that you're going to be complaining about in your videos for soon to come about how you're not being used to your full potential. So. Matt, um, like I said, I'm glad that you're going to be on TV again. I'm glad that you're going to be getting the exposure, but welcome to the Jobville, bro, because it's what you're going to be doing for the next while. Uh, you're always going to be in your brother's spotlight, and um, I feel bad for you. I think if you would have stayed in WWE, you could have been used uh, to your higher potential if you just would have kept your mouth shut and you know just gone along with the uh, status quo.